530, a Dayton machine shop closes its doors despite a million-dollar grant. Good evening. I'm Libby Kirsch. And I'm Marsha Bonhart. A year ago, Dayton Mutual Tool and Die took the money and tax credits to expand operations. Dave DeMarco is live with the investigation into what went wrong. Well, I contacted Mutual Tool and Die here, both of their shops in Dayton, and those calls went unanswered. However, I was able to speak to the Tip City company who recently purchased the name of Mutual Tool, and he told me that it appears that this company was actually well on the way out of business and had no expansion when it took that money. This is shop that I had whole Terry Hessler was shocked when he got an auction notice for neighboring machine shop Mutual Tool and Die. Well, it's sad any machine shop go out. Uh, and Mutual Tool's been around a long time, and I, I can't figure out what happened. Did they get into a contract they couldn't handle? Or? The notice says the company is auctioning off all of its assets at shops on Broadway and Lilac later this month. That includes uh, dozens of machines worth hundreds of thousands of dollars each and the buildings themselves. Well, Hessler isn't surprised a machine company folded. He's been in business 30 years and knows the industry is struggling now more than ever. And he recently asked Ohio for help. And we're only asking for about $20,000, $30,000 just to get going. And they just seem like, well, if you don't hire people and keep them, we're not going to do it. So I told them the truth that I'd like to, but I can't guarantee it. But just last year, Mutual Tool and Die made that guarantee in exchange for a $800,000 low interest loan and a $100,000 grant from the city of Dayton and additional tax credits, they promised to protect 100 jobs and hire 65 more workers. At this point, it's unclear if new employees were ever hired, but it is clear that the Dayton company is gone. Meanwhile, Hessler and his five employees will keep grinding away with a cautious eye towards any contract offers that seem too good to be true. The, the, the younger generation, they'll tell you, yeah, this, this, and this, and if they find something better, they're out the door. And just late this afternoon, I did hear back from the city of Dayton who says that those jobs were never hired and they believe that Mutual Tool violated their agreement and they will be probably trying to get that money back from them. Also receiving late word that perhaps the state actually stopped payment on their loan and we will update you if we can receive any of those new developments. But for now, reporting live in Dayton, Dave DeMarco, 2 News on your side.